We are now going to go to the biology prize. <coughs> and there we are, the biology award, uh, which is going to be presented in association uh, with Roche. And it's the presenter tonight is uh, Michaela Tokar, member of the judging panel and editorial director of Biomed Central. So, ladies and gentlemen, what makes a great paper? All the researchers nominated today have first of all made a great contribution to research in their field. They significantly advanced the field uh, with strong data. The research covers widely different areas, but the common factor is the elegance of the methodology, the eloquence of the presentation and discussion. And of course, that other thing, you know, when you read a paper, you know, don't you? Because the thing that you think is, first of all, this is fascinating. And the next thing you think, God, I wish I had written it. <laughs> and it's those sort of papers uh, that have made the grade. And there were some really outstanding papers. Uh, I think we've got, uh, there are five papers. And I want you to just look at the title for that first one. <laughs> it's really cool. Procuter, Procuter. I mean, it's a bloody irresistible title. How can you not? Uh, but there were others. I mean, they were really, really great uh, papers. So, what was the winner? Well, the winner, this year's Biology Research Award, goes to... There he is. Roberto de Bavaro and his colleagues at the Polytechnic University of Marte in Arcona and the Natural History Museum of Denmark for a stunning paper published in BMC Biology. Uh, they went on several expeditions to search for animals that live in the sediments of deep basins in the Mediterranean. Now these basins are more than 3,000 metres deep and the conditions down there are permanently anoxic. They identified three new species belonging to the animal phylum Lorisifera. Now, these are multi-celled sediment-dwelling little animals uh, that have an external <coughs> armour plating called a lorica around them, hence Lorisifera. And they normally live in the spaces between the gravel. Now, the team showed that these microscopic organisms are metabolically active despite the oxygen-depleted conditions found at the bottom of the sea. And they provided some insights into how they adapted in order to survive under these extreme conditions. And it's a fantastically exciting paper because it's the very first report of a multicellular organism that can spend its entire life cycle without oxygen. And we've given the award to Roberta. Now I said, would you come forward and please, the best dressed award. <laughs> we, only, we only nominated the Italian for his <laughs> to share with my colleagues in all this award. Thank you so much. Round 
randomised control trial investigating the effect of presenting X intensive care unit in patients with a diary detailing their time on the ICU. The authors demonstrated a reduced incidence of new post-traumatic stress disorder three months after discharge from the ICU in patients who got a diary compared to those who did not. Now, post-traumatic stress disorder is actually a major problem for uh, patients coming out of ICU. The judges felt that this was a really well-conducted, well-discussed RCT that described strong beneficial effect of an incredibly simple and very unusual intervention. So, Christina James, please be very proud of yourself and come now to accept your award. <laughs>